What happens when I'm not here? In this activity, a plug-in temperature sensor is used to monitor an area that will show changes in temperature overnight or during the school day. The children need to be familiar with the data logger and what it is capable of doing, so a recap may be a good idea. The learning experiences covered in this activity are science activities and methods, collecting data remotely, quantity, line graphs, describing and comparing, time as a variable, and the controlled experiment. Make sure View's battery is fully charged. Then, plug in a remote temperature sensor into one of the inputs. First, recap View's capabilities. Connect View to a computer and open the EasySense software and select EasyLog. Check the range of the temperature is suitable, 0 to 50 degrees C, then deselect all of the built-in sensors. Click on Start and hold the temperature sensor in your hand for a short while, then stop recording. Talk about what the graph line is showing. Ask individuals to come and show important areas of the graph, such as the axes, time, where temperature is going up, and so on. Remind children that the data logger is capable of collecting information when the observer is absent. Pose the question, what happens to the temperature in the classroom overnight? Ask them to draw a graph on a piece of paper to show what they think will happen to the temperature overnight. Ask the children to decide the best place to put the data logger and how long to record for. They will need to consider things like where the sun shines into the room, radiators and so on. Select EasyLog on View and leave to record. The next day, remind the class about the activity. Ask about the timing of events, for example, the times the classroom was full or empty. Connect the data logger to the computer, select Remote, Remote Retrieve, select the data set and retrieve. Right click in the graph area, select Show or Hide Channels and deselect the internal sensors. Discuss the areas of interest. Compare to the children's graphs drawn the day before. Do they match the real data? Whose was closest in shape or with times? Check the children's understanding of the time axis by asking members of the class to point out key times on the axis. It may help if you click below the x-axis and change the time axis to absolute time. You could show the data collected for light and sound and see if this helps solves any mysteries. Try to get them to say words and phrases of difference, such as, it was cooler during the night than the day. Questions could include, when it was coldest, how do we know when it was colder at any given time, why did it get colder or hotter, why did the room warm up before the children arrived, etc.